Hey, what's going on guys? Tuesday morning here, and I just wanna start off today by saying thanks for the support. You guys are killing it this year on the videos. Uh, it's been a great season so far. We hit 12,000 subscribers yesterday. Um, I think we're gonna hit 1 million monthly views as well. I kinda set that goal for myself in the fall when I started seeing the views go up. I was like, man, it'd be really cool to hit uh, 1 million monthly views, which I didn't think we'd actually do since my channel in total had like 180,000 views in August or September. So yeah, thanks guys, really appreciate it. And it seems like everywhere I go around town here, there's always someone that watches the videos. Like yesterday, just walking out of the post office, there's someone on the sidewalk, he's like, yo, love the videos. So it's uh, really awesome to see. Anyway, unfortunately today, I think we're taking a rest day. My shoulder is just extremely sore this morning. Usually it kind of gets better within the first 10 to 20 minutes after I get out of bed. But this morning it was not getting any better at all. Um, it's starting to feel a little better now. It's like 10.30, but I'm not sure if that's the Advil talking. I don't even remember the last time I took Advil, but uh, I, I did today. So I think we're gonna take that rest day. My dad is actually going out riding and I'm not, I never thought I'd see the day. Um, might have to get out for a quick afternoon rip just to say that we rode. <laughs> I can't have that. I can't have him having that one up on me. But today I'm gonna do a quick walk around video of the Marlin sled deck and I got some stuff to ship out at the post office. Uh, yeah. Never thought I'd see the day. What? The old man's going out riding and I'm not. Uh, there's been a lot of days like that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever's in diapers, maybe. So I've been running the Marlin sled decks for, I think, four or five years now. I've ran the seven-foot deck, the seven-foot with the two-foot extension, and this year I'm running the eight-foot deck. I think the eight-foot deck is kind of the way to go for me. I personally think the seven-foot might look a little bit better, but having the deck overhang the tailgate is actually nice because it keeps the snow off your tailgate. If you're running a 154 or 165 and up, you're definitely going to want the eight foot deck. You know, you could run the longer sleds on the seven foot deck, but they really hang off and it just looks like they're always about to fall off. So I'll quickly go over a bunch of the key features on the Marlin sled deck that makes it the great deck that it is. The deck comes loaded with full super glides on top of the deck with super clamps front and rear so you don't have to go out and buy extra super clamps and you don't have to use tie downs just nice and simple it's got a nice 10 foot telescopic ramp and if you have an 8 foot box you can get the 12 foot telescopic ramp it has big wide super glides on it on the ramp so then you know if you have your trail slides uh, you still have the full width of the ramp to use to get up because on some of the older ramps uh, the super glides didn't quite go to the outside of the ramp and it would kind of be a pain to get your wider slides up there then there's lots of traction for walking up and down the ramp as well. Uh, some other sled decks you buy come with a two-piece ramp. Whatever you do, do not get a two-piece ramp, in my opinion. I watch, I watch guys struggle with those all the time. The nice telescopic ramp is 100% the way to go. Like I was saying too, on top of the deck, it's fully loaded with super glides. So you got lots of traction up there and it protects the aluminum from your carbides. There's some other decks out there, you know, they look pretty, but there's no traction on the top. You get a little bit of snow up there. It's like an ice rink. Let's talk about the lighting on the sled deck. So you've got your side marker lights. You've got a LED strip light in the back, which is also your uh, brake light, signal light, and reverse light, which is really nice for backing up at night, especially if you have tinted windows and you don't have to roll down your windows. You've got lighting in the headache rack and in the box. So blowing up at night, no problem to see what you need out of your box, find your clamps, your stuff, your oil. This year the headache rack on the deck has a cutout for your new, for your newer trucks that have the camera in the cab light there in the back. Obviously you've got your telescopic sides, fit one or two sleds up there. Uh, yeah, I'll just pick up the camera here and I'll show you my setup. You've got your headache rack lights. You see the cutout there for your newer trucks. You've got your strip light in the back here with the lighting in the box. You've got a switch right here to turn off the headache rack and the lights in the box. So up on top of the deck here, you see fully loaded with super glides. 
right here is obviously where this slides in when it's not extended. You've got your nice super track up the side with your adjustable points to secure anything you want up here because I use this for, for work as well. There's also some tie down points in the front of the deck here if you want to tie off the bumper. So we go under the box. I actually have a 360 liter transfer tank in here for diesel or I can use it for sled gas. So you got lots of room in here to keep all your oil, tools, shovels, scoop shovels, whatever you want. That's the nice thing about running the sled deck first, just putting the sled in the back of your truck. And my truck is a 2012 Dodge Ram 2500, six speed manual. I take the back seats out of my truck, so I got lots of extra room back there. Uh, I never have passengers in my truck, you know, maybe one person if I got two sleds up there. So I'll just pull out the ramp quick to demonstrate how easy it is. You can stand in the middle of the ramp and lift it, or you can just manhandle it by the sides, which is a little bit harder. So your nice wide super glides and then you got your traction grab bars in the middle there lots of traction for walking up and down all in all the marlin sled deck i'd highly recommend it top of the line you really get what you pay for when it comes to sled decks so i'd advise definitely not cheaping out i've never had an issue with any of my decks they've been great if you got any questions about the decks feel free to message me i'm always happy to talk that's pretty much all I got for you regarding the sled deck. I'm sure I forgot a couple things, but uh, just wanted to quickly go over it. I've got some people asking me about my uh, my turbo and where it is though. It's a good question. It's, uh, it's around. It's right over there. I'm looking at it. We'll, we'll take it out of retirement someday. Anyway, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. We'll be back to snowmobiling tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I think I got lucky. Holy fuck. Wow.